Joining us now is Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Governor, thank you so much for joining us. You've heard what the mayor's comments were there. What say you? Will you now coordinate with this office to bring these people to New York City? Well, he said two things. One is that it was a crisis, and the fact of the matter is, I don't know of a larger crisis in our country right now. And this is a crisis caused by the Biden administration. Remember, two years ago, we had the lowest number of border crossings in decades. Today, we have the highest number of illegal crossings into the United States ever. If you show your viewers what is going on on the Texas border, they will see that it's a crisis. Before we begin busing illegal immigrants up to New York, it was just Texas and Arizona that bore the brunt of all of the chaos and all the problems that come with it. Now the rest of America is understanding exactly what is going on. And then early on, when the mayor began complaining about just getting a small trickle of what Texas has to deal with all the time, I sent him a letter. And I invited him to come down to the border and see firsthand the chaos that exists in Texas. Now that you have certainly the, the, the attention of the mayor of New York, he, he said he'd like to talk with you, talk with your office to coordinate transportation moving forward. Are you opening, open up to that idea of getting on the phone with him or your office getting on the phone with his office to coordinate this effort? Well, for one, we're always happy to communicate. But for another, you need to understand the way the process works, and, and that is uh, these buses leave at unexpected times. Uh, they depart whenever a bus gets filled. Uh, and so they leave at different times of the day. They go different routes. And uh, the, the timing when they arrive, uh, we don't exactly know all the time. You're the governor of the great state of Texas. With our politics so divided and tensions and threats of violence so high, why would you use a phrase like, make my day, when addressing the mayor of New York City? Listen, when, when you see some of the things going on, uh, that's just candy-coated language. Uh, when, you, when you look at what we're having to deal with, we're dealing uh, with smugglers, uh, we're dealing with uh, cartels. We need the mayor to talk about something more uh, than just politics and sending people down here to knock on doors and campaign in the state of Texas. He has a job to do. He, he ran for office to be a law and order mayor. He's failing at that, but also he's failing at, at ensuring law and order by ensuring that the immigration laws of the United States of America are going to be enforced. Some, including the mayor of New York, have accused you of using migrants as political pawns. The mayor said to me in my interview with him, quote, what the Texas governor is doing is anti-American. You have a person who is using those who are seeking refuge as political showmanship. He thinks this is a theatrical performance, and this is not. So he didn't say that to President Biden when President Biden was flying people from Texas to New York. Uh, and so he's really nothing more than a hypocrite. He's playing politics with all of this. He's also being a hypocrite uh, because New York City is a self-declared sanctuary city. And so why he's ever complaining for one moment about these people being bussed into a city goes against his own self-declaration of being a sanctuary city. I think all reasonable people recognize there are issues at the border between your great state and Mexico and Arizona as well. What would you like to see the Biden administration do? So having been a, a Texan my entire life uh, and having been a public official on the border, I've seen what works and what does not work. Uh, there were four policies that were put in place that worked better than anything that's worked in about four decades. Uh, and that is uh, building the border wall, uh, eliminating catch and release, the implementation of Title 42 policy, uh, as well as the implementation of the Remain in Mexico policy, and then sending a message that the border is closed. Governor, we're so grateful for your time. This is a long conversation. I, I hope you'll come back on the broadcast again so we can continue this conversation. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.